Hi, I'm Bill Fretz. The Fretz line of stakes are based on miniature silversmithing stakes, and there are different groupings of them. Some are for rings, some are for bezels, some are for forming bracelets, and each group has its own characteristics. And which one is right for you, we're going to explore. But let's start with the stake holders. This is the H1 holder, mounts on the edge of your workbench, and it holds miniature stakes and they're miniature tea stakes. And they're called tea stakes because they're shaped like teas. This is an H2 holder. It holds mandrels and miniature stakes on the top and on the side. This holds the same stakes in a vise situation. So you can mount this in your vise if you choose not to mount it on your workbench. You can also mount the holder on a wooden block and put that in a vise. If you're using the new M100 stakes, the holder has to be longer so the project clears the workbench. So this is an H1L and that solves the problem. The larger holders are the H101 or the VH101 and they do the same thing except the VH101 is mounted in a large vise. The H101 you can mount on a block of wood, use a C-clamp. You could mount it directly onto your workbench or a stump. These hold the larger stakes, the 100 series stakes, and they're meant to be used on larger projects, forging, small hollowware, large jewelry. There's also a larger holder that fits in this holder. This is the T101. Now this has two ends. One's a straight end and it mounts the larger M100 stakes and lets you do deeper projects or larger projects. It also has an area that rises up and that's for small bottles so the area that needs to be puffed up fits in that shape. And they're interchangeable ends. They fit the same stakes that fit in the H1L holder. If you're doing a project that has a deep reach, you need to go deep into the project. Say you're doing a vessel and you need to hammer the bottom, you would use this stake. And this is the E101. After you've used this stake for a while, this mushroom stake is going to get stuck. So you take this wedge and you drive it through the hole and it pops the stake out. And that's the way you take them in and out. So this just gives you a deeper reach for some projects you may need. And this holder is incredibly versatile because it holds a whole range of larger stakes. As you can see, there's a large selection of holders for all the jewelry projects that you have in mind. And I hope this has been helpful, and if you have any further questions, please contact us.